Welcome back to ZT Global, where the topic of today is Decentraland or Mana. Now, before we get into the video, I'm just going to show you how to actually find Mana and purchase it on the ZT Global exchange. So all you have to do is go into the market section, type Mana, and uh, you have these two right here. But the coin or actual, you know, for investing is just Mana slash USDT. All you have to do is press it and you will be loaded into this page where you can see the chart loaded by TradingView, you can see the order book and you can obviously purchase or sell mana as long as you are um, logged in. So if you want to log in, all you need to do is log in up here or sign up. But what exactly is mana? And that's the point of this video. And that's what we're going to cover right now. So it's called Decentraland and it is a metaverse sort of game where anybody can join and uh, just play and build stuff and earn rewards as well. So it's a play to earn game, meaning that it is uh, covered by NFTs as well, so that everything that you do have in the game will actually have real world value afterwards as well. So you can create, explore and trade in the first ever virtual world owned by users. So Decentraland or Mana actually skyrocketed once Facebook uh, announced that they're changing to a metaverse company. But I do believe there's more growth left and we will talk about the technicals at the end of the video. Now, what you can do in the game, so you can lose yourself in an amazing evolving world, exploring lands owned by users to experience incredible scenes and structures from a space adventure to a medieval dungeon maze to entire villages crafted from the minds of community members. Now, what does this mean? Well, in this game, you have plots of land and each plot of land is worth a certain amount of money based on supply and demand. So simple market forces, just like all of the NFTs in the world. Now, the thing is that each of these blocks of land is 30 feet in width and 30 feet in height or sorry, width and length. But in height, it is actually completely it's unlimited, right? So you can theoretically build and increase the value of your land in an unlimited amount, which I thought was really cool when I found out about this for the first time, because very simply, you know, it just provides a lot of utility. So you can test the limits of your imagination, build casinos, games, uh, theme parks, whatever you want, pretty much, pretty much uh, the virtual destination for digital assets. So you can sell and buy land, estates, avatar, wearables and names in the marketplace and uh, a lot more. So you can uh, check out a few of their blog posts right here and events. But uh, what I wanted to point out is that uh, Barbados is actually the first in the world to launch a virtual embassy in the metaverse, which is very interesting considering uh, Mana is a metaverse project and this uh, sort of transition to the metaverse could have a nice effect on Mana as well. So looking at the price uh, action right now, we can see a very nice bullish correction pattern broken out of with strong uh, bullish candles. So this happened in two days. It was an increase of around two or three hundred percent. And uh, what happened here? Well, just a consolidation and we are respecting the 61% Fib level at this point, and uh, we are creating somewhat of another correction pattern. So let me just plot that for you real quick. This would be somewhat of a correction pattern and we did break out of it. Now we'll see if mana just continues moving towards the upside or performs somewhat of a larger retracement before doing so. So that's it for today's video. Uh, definitely uh, check out the ZT Global Exchange if you want to buy or sell coins. The uh, utility and functions are massive and all you need to do is just type ZT global. Now that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.